right now out of Thailand. Rescue teams are working through the night to save 12 boys and their coach trapped inside a cave. The monsoon had come early. The conditions in the cave were impossible. There was a very strong feeling that the children couldn't be still alive. We need expert cave divers out here. The Thai Navy SEALs put everything they had into it, but only this group of people who do it as a weekend hobby has those skills. I was thinking this, this has actually got our name all over it. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face trying to wriggle through holes that I couldn't wriggle through, finding a bigger space, sliding through, and then repeating again and again. How, how many of you? 13. We look into each other's faces thinking we may be the only ones that ever see them. Finding the boys was the easy part. They didn't have a clue how to get those kids out. We didn't think it was possible to dive the children out. We came up with the actual logistical plan. I told him, that's a horrible idea. And then Rick said, what if it's the only idea? We were brutally honest. We promised multiple fatalities. It's about controlling your emotions and your fear. Panic is death in the cave. My mind was on overdrive. Oh my God, am I going to be good enough? If they die, it's going to tear me apart. If you don't die, everyone will die. I told the guys, this is a one-way trip. Once you start, you cannot stop. Believe. Believe. The whole aim was to create a, uh, a, a, a story, you know, recreate our story to show what we'd got went through in Thailand, and and this is, you know, the accumulation of that that, and we're bringing it to the general public. So that's exactly what why we signed up for this feature. The movie itself is very powerful. It's it's very emotional. It's hard not to watch the movie and to feel the fear uh, and the danger that the boys were in. I think like many people around the world at the time, like we were living through a pretty tricky political moment in the world. And here was a story that kind of united us. Like we could all empathize as parents or as children. And the ups, the downs, the, I mean the whole thing. So I think initially it was like, you know, it was parents of Asian children that we were transfixed. Well, I think what we were trying to communicate was what can be done when people come together in a joint mission to do something, even though what it, it, to do the impossible. And uh, so if we can get that message across about what can be done, um, I think that's what we're trying to do. It was critically important to us to, there are very few positive stories about Asians, uh, non-fiction stories about Asians in the world. And for us, both as Asian Americans, it seemed like an opportunity to do do that right and that we were in a unique position to listen very closely because that's the essence of the of the story of the rescue is that people from disparate backgrounds came together irregardless of where you're from what language you spoke volunteer or a professional you came together to save children you've never met